sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O God, our Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, we believe and proclaim that you are present and your living presence is here with us these moments of benediction and adoration. Lord, we believe that we are in the living presence of yours, especially at this time of adoration. We worship you, Lord, with all the angels and saints. We adore you, Lord, with the whole court of heaven. We glorify you, Lord, with all the creatures on the earth. And we bless your holy name with all those whom you have added to our life. And we proclaim your wonders throughout, the, throughout our life, especially the blessings that you have given us this day. Thank you, Lord. Worship you. Dear brothers and sisters, we spend a few moments in the silence, the presence of our Lord, to experience the Lord with us and to offer ourselves into the presence of our Lord.
dear brothers and sisters the lord has promised us that he would be with us till the end of ages and we see that for ourselves now at this time in this eucharistic bread the way the lord prepared for himself to stay with us when jesus was saying that he is going to break his body for us and shed his blood for us especially when he was talking about his death on the cross no one could understand no one could find a reason but the lord was saying this is the way i have found to be with my children forever this is the way the lord has chosen and whenever we come into the presence of the lord in the eucharistic adoration we worship his love for us and when jesus spoke to his disciples about his death on the cross they could not understand they could not find a reason and even peter said let this not happen to you but jesus said this is the way i have chosen to save the world no human being could understand it but dear brothers and sisters when we look at our life especially look at this day everything the lord has added into our life we may find them meaningless we may find them clueless we may not find any reason behind what is happening to us but just trust in the goodness of the lord and we will see everything turning out to be good even that we cannot understand so dear brothers and sisters as we thank and worship our lord for everything the lord has given us this day it's also time for us to consecrate ourselves to the heart of the lord meaning to surrender our body mind and soul completely into the hand of the lord every little question that is there in our heart every little confusion and concern that is there in our heart offer that into the hand of the lord and we know in the goodness of the lord everything turns out to be good for us jesus while he was teaching about his father he told is there any father who wishes evil for his children Is there any father who gives bad things to his children? And your heavenly father will give it give the holy spirit for those who ask the best gift. We may not understand but the lord will give everything good for his children. Let us trust in the goodness of our lord. Once again proclaim with our heart Lord I trust in your goodness So we spend a few moments in tra- surrendering ourselves unto him especially if you can recollect those questions that is there in your heart sometimes things in your life that has happened especially today but not able to understand not able to comprehend not able to find a reason and those incidents that brings you anxiety fear brokenness over all that unto the lord believing in the goodness of the lord and worshiping him 
because he will turn everything to be good for us Offering ourselves into the hand of the Lord and worshipping Him, adoring Him, and placing Him as our Lord and Savior in our heart. We sing with this hymn, worshipping our Lord together. Jesus, we enthrone you, we proclaim you our King. Thank you, Lord. Worship you, Lord. ourselves unto you, O Lord. We believe in you, God. 
goodness. Hallelujah, Lord. Worship you, Lord. You've broken, you've broken your body for us. You've shed your blood on the cross for us to save us, O oh Lord. We believe in your goodness. Hallelujah, Lord. Worship you, Lord. Adore you, Lord. Hallelujah. With all the angels and saints, we worship you. With the whole court of heaven, we adore you. With the heaven and earth, all creatures in it, we worship you, Lord. Hallelujah. Lifting all the prayer intentions that are dear to our heart, we worship you, Lord. Let everything that has happened to us this day, we lift up and worship you, O Lord. Everything joyful and sorrowful alike, we lift them in and worship you, Lord. And we receive them in from your hands, thanking you, O Lord. Hallelujah. Worship you, Lord. Dear brothers and sisters, let us intercede for the whole world. Especially at this time, let us consecrate the whole world to the holy blood of Jesus. The book of Isaiah, chapter 53, 3, we read, By his wounds you have been healed. Let us hide the whole world into the holy wounds of Jesus. Let the holy blood oozing out from the holy wounds of Jesus cleanse, purify and heal the whole world. Especially at this time of peril, at this time of pandemic, we all stand in need of healing from the Lord because the human endeavors brings no healing. It is not complete and perfect. O oh Lord, we trust the whole world into your mighty hands. And Lord, we pray, let your holy blood heal the world. Thank you, Lord. Dear brothers and sisters, we pray the healing and trusting the whole world into the mercy of the Lord to be cleansed by the holy blood of Jesus, to be healed by the holy blood of Jesus. All those who are struggling with COVID-19 tested positive. All those who are struggling with the impacts of COVID-19. Especially those who lost their job and livelihood. Those who lost their beloved ones. Those who are seeking job, let us remember all the prayer intentions related to COVID-19. The healthcare workers, all the agencies trying to find the cure and medicine. People stranded in different parts of the world. All those who are ignored and rebel. Remembering all of them, we ask the Lord to take them with His holy blood. So we pray the prayer of healing of the Divine Mercy Chaplet. Jesus, may your pure and healthy blood circulate in our ailing organism. And may your pure and healthy body transform our weak body. 
and may a healthy and vigorous life throb within us if it is truly your holy will jesus may your pure and healthy blood circulate in our ailing organism may your pure and healthy body transform our weak body and may a healthy and vigorous life throb within us if it is truly your holy will oh jesus may your pure and healthy blood circulate in our ailing organism and may your pure and healthy body transform our weak body and may a healthy and vigorous life throb within us if it is truly your holy will amen let us remember all those who asked our prayers as well especially at this time in australia as the students prepare for their hsc exams as the dates are coming closer all the stress and struggles physical and mental we offer them unto the lord we pray to fill them with hope fill them with strength and anointing of the holy spirit so that they be able to dedicate themselves for studies and among the students if there is anyone struggling and of healing upon them your strength be upon them Lord from Divine Retreat Center at this time we lift up all the prayer intentions that we have received through different media all those who spoke to us today regarding their prayer intentions all those who visited this retreat center today with their prayers and all those who are joining at this time worship and adoration from different corners of the world all the prayers that are to the, that are dear to their heart we offer them unto you o lord and we pray have mercy Once again offering ourselves and all our prayers into the hand of the Lord with a thanksgiving heart let us kneel down before our Lord preparing for the moments of benediction and we shall sing together down in adoration holy
us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you gave us the Eucharist as a memorial of your suffering and death. May our worship of the sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you won for us and the peace of the kingdom where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let us pray the divine praises. Blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the paraclete. Blessed be the great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. Amen. Oh, uh -huh.